Hey guys, Dylan from Noble Records coming at you with another video. Uh, so excited. So today our shipment showed up of our post-Christmas uh, restock. Basically over the holidays, it just was slammed in here. Uh, sold so many records. And so uh, we were able to do like a pretty big order to restock all that stuff and just now got it. So um, also one of our big goals for 2021 is to get more new inventory in the shop. Um, right now, like up until now, we've had like 90% used. And so I really want to be um, more proactive about getting stuff in that's reissues of stuff. Um, not, not necessarily just reissues, but new arrivals, uh, new albums, all that stuff. Uh, for me, where my passion lies is in the old stuff. That's what I love digging out. That's my thing. But I also have a great appreciation for new stuff, and I want to have everything everybody wants. So I'm working towards that this year. Um, so that is huge for us. I'm going to be unboxing all this stuff and it'll be all available in the shop tomorrow, uh, which by the time you're seeing this will be today, Friday. Um, but also if you, if you aren't local, you can buy the stuff online. We have a website that you can buy new records from sealed stuff. Um, it's, it's all like new, uh, inventory. And so that's so I, right now I have two websites. You'll look in the links link in the description of the pro, of this um, video. You'll see that there's one that says buy vinyl, one that says buy merch. It's two separate platforms, but one is to buy records, and if you want to get shirts, hats, stickers, all that stuff, that's on, on my other website. So I'm working on merging them, but that's the way it is for now. Without any further ado. We're going to open these records and see what I got. I got like so many. Uh, just uh, I've almost forgotten at this point what I ordered, but I know I ordered a lot of really good stuff. So check it out. Uh, this is a really cool um, psych record. Uh, Tappy Men is this really, really uh, killer hard rock, psychedelic hard rock record. I ordered one of these a while back just to kind of see what it was like. And it was just absolutely killer. Uh, so I, I got this for the shop, some really great stuff. This is one that people have been requesting. Uh, Nick Drake, Brighter Later, uh, hadn't had any copies come in, so they finally got, uh, became available, and so I was able to get them in. If you don't know Nick Drake, he's one of my favorites. Really good uh, singer, songwriter, stuff. that He was way ahead of his time. Uh, this is one that I ordered a bunch of copies this last week and had them in the shop, and they, and they sold out in one day. Uh, Billy Strings Home, really good neo psychedelic bluegrass. Um, I talked to it, about it in a live video, but this is really good. Billy Strings Home, love love that record. Uh, when I was playing in the shop the other day, it had so many people want to buy it, um, they got sold out. So really good stuff. Fugazi. So Jeremy, you know Jeremy from a punk videos. He has been he he's like a Fugazi fanatic, and uh. He'll play stuff in the shop, and everybody's like, you guys need to get some Fugazi because I get in here and I want it. So I bought some Fugazi so you guys can have that. Bought a few of those. Uh, there's some more Fugazi in here. This is one. I love recommending this record. It's one of my favorites. This is Robert Plant and Allison Krauss, Raising Sand. This is maybe my favorite post-Zeppelin thing that any of them did. Um, this is amazing. I love Allison Krauss. love her bluegrass stuff. Uh, Robert Plant. He's he's great and all, but them together, it's just fantastic. This is one of my favorite records. I got a couple of these for the shop just because I love being able to recommend that to people and have it on hand. Uh, some Bonnie Vare. People are always asking for that. Some Ryan Adams. Uh, some more Fugazi. This isn't just whatever order. I'm, I'm pulling them out. And this one's I thought was kind of cool. Um, the last one so i can't get any traction on it Jeez. um some howling wolf this is a uh, kill floor blues essentials so it's like a greatest hits howling wolf stuff blue stuff is always in, in popular demand here that was the smallest box we're gonna venture into box numero dos Oh, yes. Yes, so glad I finally got some more of these. Uh, this is the King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, live in San Francisco, 2016. Um, that's this record. Man, been uh, wanting to get some more of these. I had uh, several in the shop 
last week and they all sold in one day as well i was it's like i was playing on the system and people kept coming in like what is this i want it and they were buying it so i got a bunch of those um so yeah that's super sweet <sighs> this is some stuff i've been wanting to get for a long time some nick cave and the bad seeds uh really good stuff if you like tom waits leonard cohen it's kind of in that same vein really good bob marley kingston legend uh, let's see what else we got here robert johnson complete collection two lp some uh central blues stuff there some more blues here come on now uh muddy waters at newport 1960 uh got these nickel creek uh, reissues are really, they sound incredible. And, uh, I got a bunch last week, sold them all immediately. Um, got some, got one of those. Got some Ramones. Got two. Uh, Nickel Creek again. Uh, Sturgill Simpson. But I get people come in all the time asking for Sturgill Simpson. So I'm getting some of that in. Um, some Flaming Lips. Had some people, I always ask people, like, what were you looking for they didn't find? And so, uh, somebody last week said Flame and Lips, so I ordered some. David Bowie Lowe. That's one you don't find originals of often enough, and people are always wanting it. Uh, what's the story? Morning Glory Oasis. Man, I love this record. Really good stuff. Okay, okay, okay. This Delvon Lamar organ trio, Close But No Cigar. Uh, you'll hear me talk about Coal Mine. Fantastic. Uh, Neo Soul label, but this uh, Delvon Lamar is just insanely good, like funk soul uh, keys, organ type stuff. It's 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 so good. But anything on Coal Mine Records, if you want to go down a rabbit hole of Neo Soul and funk, uh, Coal Mine Records is amazing. So I want to have like a whole section of Coal Mine stuff because every release they put out is amazing. I've done a video on Coal Mine. Go back and watch it. But this one's really good. And I know I ordered some more Coleman stuff as well. So um, I ordered these. So I've got a bunch of these. These are the um, Half Speed Master Bob Marley releases that, that just came out. These are um, 75th Anniversary of Legend uh, Master to Abbey Road Studios. So there's a whole series of Bob Marley Half Speed Masters. Um, so I got, a, I think, all of those for the shop. So they're in here. Um, this one's really cool. Sk Skull Crusher. Uh, this is female uh, folk, acoustic folk. Really cool. I think it came out last year, but very. that's a very, very cool record. Um, this is one I recommend all the time. This is Lightning Hopkins' Last Night Blues. Um, really one of my favorite top, top blues records. It's This is insane. It's insanely good. Um, let's see. Got some more Skull Crushers there. Uh, got this new Bonnie Vere, newer Bonnie Vere record. Uh, everybody's been asking for Van Halen, so you got to. Um, so, some more. Man, this is a lot of stuff. People are asking for Coldplay like crazy. Well, I love Coldplay. Great stuff. Some uh, Zeppelin reissues, because you can never find enough originals of that. I don't know why I ordered this. All American Rejects. Um, I don't remember ordering. I mean, I do remember thinking about it, but man, this record, when I was young, when I was a teenager, like 14, 15, um, this came out, and man, I was, I loved it. Um, swing, Swing, that song. I just, I, I did like some emo stuff when I was young. I wasn't, I wasn't emo, but I, I did... I did partake. Um, Bow Street Runners, really great psych record. The originals are really tough to find. Uh, this is the uh, Division Bell remastered. Great stuff. This is as random as it could possibly be. Uh, this is 70th anniversary, Easy Skank in Boston, 78, Bob Marley in the Whalers. That is cool. Very, very cool. That's a double LP. Some more Bonnie Bear. Got some Beyonce. Everybody's always wanting some Beyonce. <sighs> so, ooh, this is one. Tyler Childers, great stuff. I've been selling out of his stuff every time I get it. Really good if you don't know Tyler Childers. He's um, Americana, singer, songwriter, 
tipping tipping the edge of bluegrass. Really good stuff. Um, got some essential hip hop hello in theory. Uh, 13th floor elevators. This is the double LP version of Easter Everywhere. I'm trying to remember why it's double. I think maybe one is mono and one is stereo. I can't remember. I'll have to look it up. But it is a double. Bell and Sebastian. I've never ordered a physical graffiti, but it's one that everybody's always asking for. So I thought I might as well grab it. Rage Against the Machine. Man, I love some Rage Against the Machine. Got some more flaming lips. Got some tool. And some ice cube. Death certificate, 25th anniversary. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Got some Stone Temple Pilots, Shangri La Di Da. Uh, it's Van Halen Hurricane live broadcast 1982. And this Fugazi. Which way is the right way? That way is the right way. All right. Some more Ben. This is a really cool uh, psych record. Really tough to find. Um, got some more Pentagram stuff. Uh, since I've been talking about Pentagram, they have been selling in the shop, so I've just been reordering and selling out of them. Oh, uh, let's see. Super Blues Band. This is a Howlin' Wolf, Muddy Waters, Bo Diddley. It's a really cool record. Tough to find original of that one. Interpol. All right. Is that it? Oh, no. That's it. Tap down. Cut this cool uh, coal mine. Aaron Frazier. My God has a telephone. Uh, pretty cool, 7-inch. Got these 10-inch 13-floor uh, elevators. Uh, you're going to miss me on the first side and then tried to hide on the second side. Pretty cool. Picture disc, 10-inch type thing. Uh, this is one, man. It's Jason Isbell. Something more than free. Uh, really crazy good stuff. Ryan Adams. Heartbreaker. Fantastic record. This Gorillas record, great stuff. Got some more Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Love this record. The originals are tough to find. I uh, got some Outcast. Some more Flaming Lips. Uh, Rage Against the Machine. Some more Coldplay. I uh, got this really cool. Uh, this is the anniversary, 40th anniversary 2LP of Young Marble Giants. I talked about this a good bit this year. Found this record this year um, in that attic dig. It's really, really, really good stuff. Let's see here. Ooh, man. Oops, I already showed that one. KG Elephant. The Cave of the Bad Seeds. Mega, mega. Man, this is so good. Ben Harper. Super underrated. You don't hear many people talk about him. Look at that cover. But I love Ben Harper. Like he was my own child. Uh, this music on vinyls, Headhunters. <laughs> music on vinyl, Headhunters, sorry. Um, everyone's always asking for this record as well. So I got some of those music on vinyl pressings. They're probably fantastic. On brand for music on vinyl to be great. Um, this is one Peggy Go Get or Tear Gas. A really good hard rock record. Um, psychedelic a little bit. Uh, I got I found an original of this this year, and uh, some people have been asking about it, so I got to reissue that. Some more Howlin' Wolf. Ultra Funk. Some Funky Funk. Some Fugazi from Discord here. This is killer stuff here. So this is um, Caterpillar Changes. Original pressings of this are like $2,000. This is the, I have the A Karma reissue, but this is a, a different reissue. This is um, on, uh, I don't know what label this is. I don't know, but it's pretty sweet. The little Fugazi and Green Day. Sublime, killer stuff, Mac Miller. People are always asking for Mac Miller stuff. Uh, this is a record that it's just uh, it's timeless, fantastic stuff. 
some more flaming lips. Sturgill Simpson. It's another coal mine, GA20. Uh, blues, soulful, blues rock type. Uh, the Black Keys had a little more soul to them. GA20, great stuff. Uh, it's another Sublime. Amos Lee, a really good singer, songwriter stuff. Uh, Ryan Adams, 1989. This is really cool. He covers the whole Taylor Swift 1989 record. And it's really, it's, it's, it's a cool one. Arctic Monkeys. I sold out of these last week, the Black Crows before the Frost. These are on white vinyl. Pretty cool. But like I said, sold out of them last week, so I ordered a ton of them because people were asking about them and angry that I'd sold out. I got this Van Halen Hurricane, another one. Uh, Ray LaMontagne. Man, some fantastic stuff as well. Uh, some King Gizzard. Polly Wanna Gunga Dunga Land. <laughs> That's not what it's called, but it's close enough. This is a really great, this is on Bluesville originally. Lightning in my bottle, Lightning Hopkins. Lightning Hopkins, man. He is one of my favorite, favorite blues dudes of all time. Got this Mac Miller Swimming in Circles box set. A lot of people have been asking uh, for this last week, so I, was, I, got, I grabbed one for the shop. Um, and then here's some of those Bob Marley Half Speed Masters, Babylon by Bus. Really cool, man. Survival. Exodus. These are all half speed masters. I got some more too. There's been another box probably. Got Pearl Jam 10, classic Misfits. Tribe Call Quest. Essential, essential stuff. Some more half speed master burning whalers. Catch fire. Got this Interpol. This is uh, Rasta Man Vibrations, Half Speed Master. Some more Outcast. Bob Marley Live. Holy moly, what a live record. Great stuff. Some Hendrix. Gotta have those essentials. More Mac Miller stuff. Mac Miller stuff. Mac Miller stuff. Got some more uh, Bob Marley. 75th anniversary half speed masters. Um, you know this guy, Tyler the Creator. Got some some more of these Almond Brothers. I'll have it film more. Foo Fighters greatest hits. Some more misfits. Gotta have it. And then I got a ton of the Sturgill Simpson cutting grass. Can't I mean I can't even I'm selling these faster than Sturgill Simpson can cut grass. It's a play on bluegrass, but very, very good record. Came out this year. People are dying for it. Fantastic stuff. Okay, what we got here? Some more Sturgill's. Sturgill's. Dark Side of the Moon. It's another one. No matter how many copies you have, it's not enough. Uh, confrontation. Have to be master. Woohoo! Man, there's some cool ones in here. Okay. This is quite the... Uh, Quite the inventory here, sir. And then a bunch more cutting grass, cause I needed I needed one for myself, because like literally the day I put them out, all the cutting grass they all sold. The first like hour I put them out. So that's some more Jason Isbell stuff. Four hundred unit. Great records. Man, this is a this is a really great live record as well. Live of the rhyme, and this is the record that really made me fall for Jason Isbell. This is another uh, coal mine release. Really good stuff. The Harlem Gospel Travelers. He's on time, but just really good uh, gospel funk soul, like modern. This is all new stuff that's coming out. Great stuff. This is a. Uh, some more King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. That stuff sells really well here. People love the Lizard and their Wizards. Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, Ghostine. Great record. 
Got some Panic at the Disco, cause you know, the Disco. Light and Hopkins, what a fantastic record. Man, originally on Folkways. Uh, got Nine Inch Nails. Essential, industrial. Some Pink Floyd, London, 66, 67. Another cool one there. Some Krungbin. It's just stuff everyone's asking for us to restock. People can't get enough this year of the Krungbin. I think I'm saying that right. I'm trusting that that's right. It's a reissue of a Miles Davis Bags Groove. Great stuff. Love this record. One of the most classic, essential, classic hip-hop records. Uh, this is a really cool... Um, Double LP, Nick Drake's called Family Tree. Uh, it says Family Tree's uh, are, is recordings that precede Nick Drake's three studio albums. Uh, so this is really cool stuff. I have one of these in my collection. So a lot of people are, are loving Nick Drake here lately and as they should. So I thought I'd grab that. This is another one, uh, the Surefire Soul Ensemble, Coal Mine. Really good, funky, uh, meters type. Uh, just dirty Booker T and the MGs. Funky stuff. Really good. Modern stuff. Um, hole. Let's see here. Chris Cornell, Higher Truth. Oh, man. I love Chris Cornell. Got some more Krungbin stuff. Krungming. Sun House, Raw Delta Blues. That's the good stuff. The best of Muddy Waters. That's a great one. And then I got the ODB live and uncut. Yeah. This one's morning. That's more Ryan Adams. Great stuff. This is another one. Okay, I might or might not do my top 10 records of 2020, but spoiler, this is one of them. Black Market Brass. Holy crap. This is like a, like that meters type funk mixed with like Afrobeat. This record is insane. It's on it's on coal mine, but if you if that sounds good to you, please please listen to this. Black Market Brass is it's insane. It's too good. It shouldn't even be that good. Another Light and Hopkins, really good stuff. Ray La Montaigne, God Will and the Creek Won't Rise. I love this record. It's been with me for years. Rage Against the Machine. Nick Drake and Nick, Nick Drake and the Bad Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. This is probably my favorite Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds record. Firstborn is dead. It's about Elvis's Elvis's brother that passed away before he was born. Tool, a Chicano Batman. That's a cool record. Got some more Sturgill Simpson. Flaming Lips. I'm a little nuts on the Flaming Lips, I guess. Um, this is another one that was going to be in my top 20 or, or top 10 of 2020. Texas Sun by Leon Bridges and Krungbin. That's a smoker. Every time I play that in the shop, people want it. So I try to stock those because I like playing it in the shop. Some Bob Marley, So Revolution 2 dub. Pretty cool. Uh, Zeppelin, some Zeppelin reissues because you got to have them. They sound pretty good. Some, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I ordered this. If this doesn't sell in 48 hours, I'm taking it home and I'm keeping it. I've always wanted this on vinyl. Some 41, all killer, no filler. Man, fat lip. I just, I, this was like my teenage years. I just thought it was so cool. <laughs> Uh, this is another Karma Chief, which is uh, with Coal Mine. Great stuff. Some Black Crows. Some more Nick Cave stuff. We're getting we're getting to the bottom here, guys. We're getting close. Mm. Gotta have these uh, Miles Davis kind of blue. Talked about this in my um, jazz video. Essential groundbreaking modal jazz record. Yeah, I have it. If you're wanting to get into some jazz, that's the one. This coal mine release 
is one of my favorites. Not only is the cover just cool as heck, IK Bay Shakedown. It's good. It's funky. Like I said, if like funk and soul, like especially that neo funk dap tone type stuff, if that's your thing, you gotta you gotta do some research on coal mine records. I'm telling you, do not sleep on that. They are fantastic. One last box, y'all. Got some King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard in the house. Got a total restock on that stuff. People love it. This is a really good one. I, I know them by the covers because the names usually throw me. Flying Microtonal Banana. <sighs> Sorry for my indigestion, guys. I've been eating Mexican food tonight. Paper Mache Dream Balloon. As soon as I posted my video last time I got this, someone rushed in the door to grab it. Some more Nickel Creek. That Nickel Creek stuff is so good. Let's see some more Black Crows. Jeez, how many of these are not worth? Got some more Tyler, the Creator. He's a popular dude. People love him. Here's another Delvon Lamar organ trio live at KEXP. Another coal mine release. System of a Down Toxicity. Rage Against the Machine. I ordered a bunch of Nickel Creek, didn't I? One of nuts. This one, holy moly, this Kelly Finnegan record is fantastic as well. Kelly Finnegan, uh, he's he's been in a bunch of those uh, coal mine bands, but this is really, really good Neo Soul. You got to check that out. Rage Against Machine. Now, I might add this, guys. This is the one I am. <laughs> I'm at the shop. I've been getting some work done at home, and I was like, you know what? I just got this shipment in. I need to go work on it, which is what I'm doing. More Nickel Creek. Ryan Adams, Easy Tiger. I love this record. Who I forgot to order this one. Sir Lord Baltimore. Okay, this is one that I don't recommend enough. There's this one, which is really good, and they have another album called Kingdom Come, which we also have in the shop. They're both really good. Kingdom Come especially is just really gnarly guitar licks, great vocals. That, if Deep Purple was just dipped in acid a little bit longer, you got Sir Lord Baltimore. And maybe a little, little Zeppelin, little Bridget St. John, really, really cool. Um, Joni Mitchell-esque uh, folk. It's got a little bit deeper vocal. It's really cool. Uh, some more Gizzard. Some more Isbel. Is it's Isbel. Let's be honest. With you. Like, is that a bell I hear ringing? Got some Iron Maiden Virtual. Virtual XI, which I guess is 11. I don't know. But uh, it was available and it was Maiden, so I got it. I uh, got a bunch more of these Nickel Creeks. Like a lot more. This is uh, Why Should the Fire Die? Uh, this is, I believe, this is a comp of uh, their first three albums, I believe, of some of the best stuff off those. Howlin' Wolf, that's a pretty cool one. Second album, aka Rockin' Chair, pretty cool. It's more Ryan Adams, it's a fantastic record. Uh, the best of Little Walter. Really good harmonica blues. Uh, Muddy Waters, live at Theater 1839, San Francisco, 1977. That's a lot of numbers, uh, but live Muddy Waters stuff. Uh, this is a really cool, like if you like King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, I think this is a little bit tamer, but not as microtonal. <laughs> this is Pond. Really good uh, neo-psych band. I like them a lot. I've got this record in my collection. Interpol. This is the first Caterpillar record. Finally did a really good affordable reissue of this. But really good. Originally on Vertigo, I talked about changes. That's their second record. But this is a, a really good. Definitely need to pick that up if you got it. If you don't have it, reissue. Uh, reunions. This, this one came out in 2020. It was one of my favorites of this year. Jason Isbell, the 400 unit. Really, really great um, Americana country. Um, got some Gorillas, Demon Days. I remember when these were like 
a million dollars, but they reissued them. Great stuff. My Chemical Romance. Now, I did not like this record when it came out, or ever, or now. But people always ask for it. Not that there's anything wrong with it. It just it wasn't my thing. Bob Marley and the Whalers. This is the um, another Haspeed Master. Buddy Guy, Stone Crazy Blues. And then this reissue of uh, Court of the Crimson King. Great stuff. Ray LaMontagne, Monovision. And Robert Johnson. The best Robert Johnson is the one LP. So that is it for this. And I've got another shipment coming in on Monday, I believe, of great stuff from... Um, Got a big, a big order coming from Fat Possum. And I think I got an order coming from Light in the Attic as well. So I'm stocking up, doing the best I can. Thank you all for watching this video and bearing with me. Like I said, any records that you want, you can most likely find if they're not sold out on our website. Uh, the link is, is below. Hit the subscribe button if you like this video. Follow us on Instagram where you can see all the things we're putting in the shop and all the fun we're having. Thank you all. We'll see you next time.